Hello, my name is Dylan, and together with Gary and Wu Young, this is our project. For our project, we chose to look deeper into stochastic matrices, the Markov chain, and the power of their analysis and predictions in the real world. As we have learned, stochastic matrices are essentially matrices of probability, with all values lying between 0 and 1, and each column summing to 1. In very basic applications, they can take in the movement of people or the likelihood of a dice roll and generate the most likely results after the action occurs. However, when used with thousands of data points and systematically run repeatedly to create models, these matrices generate very powerful predictions useful in any industry or any other potential application. In our sp project specifically, we chose to look deeply into their use in modeling weather events across the globe, ranging from short-term power generation of wind farms to river flow and flood modeling. The best example is a flood water monitoring system in Australia called WAFARI, which stands for Water Availability Forecast of Australian Rivers that the Australian government implemented in December of 2010. The service delivers a monthly report of stream flow forecast from single locations, predicting water levels up to three months ahead of time. To do this, it calculates the water flow patterns using a Markov chain and the probability statistics of flood waters in the area. With the Bayesian joint probability system as its p-matrix and the most recent flood data as its just initial x naught values, it calculates a long Markov chain showing stream flow for the next three months. This system is so accurate that 95% of observations of floodwaters fell within the interquartile range of predictions, statistically meaning that it is a valid model. Wafari is also equipped with a variety of data visualization techniques, such as total inflow probability distribution and a predictive indexing system that meteorologists can use to forecast severe flooding. And you can see some of that in the visuals. In MATLAB, we recreated the basic principle of the project. Firstly, we typed in a sample matrix with some values. We then tell MATLAB to generate a model using that matrix with three states, similar to the population patterns that we did in class. Then MATLAB is told to generate a figure, and then using the model created earlier, the figure can easily visualize what is happening within the matrix. Uh, with additional labels, maps, and coding to automate the process with multiple data points, that's how you approach to begin the Wafari system. In conclusion, this use of Markov chain and stochastic matrices to predict water flows in Australia is incredibly important for understanding flooding, safety, management of slum water resources, and for farmers and agriculture to minimize their impact in the region. There are similar examples predicting seasonal rainfall near the coast of Ghana, annual rainfall at Tamil Nadu in India, and helping schools in the northeast of the U.S. predict if the next day will be a snow day. And there are hundreds of examples. While these usually in include custom kernels and high-level programming, the fundamental statistics and algebra are the same as we have learned in class and are demonstrated here.